Hey guys, Chamber Line here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we will be looking at a new Lego set. You can see it there. This is not uh, a paid promotion by Lego. I bought this myself um, for £160 at the time and it is a modular set. And what I mean by that, I'll explain to you very soon. Because it is the Lego Bookshop. Which is too big for the camera to fit in. So the top of it's there, the bottom of it's there. But I'll break it down bit by bit for you guys. Just so you can see where uh, the bits are. Well, the, the, the um, little features are. But just some information about this set you can get it on um lego.com or any third party website like amazon or ebay but lego.com is your best bet for it if it's in stock go and get it it's a beautiful set this is now it, it obviously it's called the lego bookshop it is set number 10270 it has 2504 pieces bear in mind some of them could be spare bits as i've just knocked the tree and there's a hair on it. I really should dust these off before I review them, but oh well. Screw it. Um, it is now £169... Six, and I'll try that again. It is now £169.99, which is 170 quid basically. And it has five minifigures. So we'll go through the minifigures first. So we have a little man down here. As I've just knocked the tree again. Silly tree. So here we have the first minifigure. I don't believe he is double face. Oh, he is double face. That's his second face. But we shall put him back to that face. The smirk he's got on there is amazing. So we'll put him to one side. Next we have this lady who I believe is the bookshop owner. I believe she is the owner of the bookshop. I believe she has a second face as well. Yep, there we have it. Again, the printing on the back of these are amazing. And the little freckle she has, I've just seen. It's only on her second face. And not freckles, the bits near the eyes. They could, they could be side lashes. I've just decided to call them side lashes. So yeah. So we'll just go back to this guy. The printing on the back of his um suspenders or braces whatever you want to call them we call them braces in the uk but americans could call them suspenders so yeah um i believe there's one around the back here somewhere on one of the balconies there is so here we have another person again she's double faced I did that because the hairpiece is so big. But yeah, she could be the bookshop owner, actually. I don't know. I love the little necklace she has on there as well. Where it glistens in the light. Um, There is another one, but I can't remember where it is. Don't worry, I've not just broken the set. This is what I mean by the modulars. Ah, there's two. There's two more, because that was only three. Here's the little kid you get with it. So yeah, I believe again he's double faced. Yep. Yeah. Because he has that face, because that's his plane in the tree. There we are. So that's minifig four. Minifig number five is this old man. Again with a with a lumberjack type shirt. Well, with a lumberjack type shirt. But yeah. Right, with modulars. I'll put the back on first because it's easier. See these little studs here? That is where the bits of the building hook into place. So like that. And this front bit sits on there when it's all lined up. Yeah, the, these bits on here, 
Actually, hang on, I'll separate it for you guys. Because they can separate, I've just got to be careful. We'll do the blue house first and then we'll come back to the actual bookshop. We'll save the best till last. So yes, these bits here on this blue house were a bloody nightmare to, to fit on because you have to get these exactly straight. But yeah, these bits were also a nightmare just in here. If I can do this gently for you guys. Yeah, the, these bits here were a nightmare to put on. So yeah. The modular sets do come with little lampposts for people making cities. So yeah, that's good. It always wants to bring that base with it. So yeah, that's basically the lamppost without the grey bit on. So yeah, we will start with the with this blue building here. So I'll break it down now for you. Basically, this is the the top section, the roof. It has a little balcony. Just so these windows do open like that and like that, but this one can't really open that well because of the flowers that are there. So it only opens that that far in out. Little door there as well for people to come out onto the balcony. So yeah, we'll shut that. This is the bedroom and the stairs to get into the bedroom. You can see just there, there's a picture of a bridge, which is quite nice. Uh, chest of drawers, I love the detail in these sets. Love the detail in this is my first modular building as well. So I'll bring it a bit closer for you guys to see. Little, um, Little picture of the bridge again, little plant pot, or plants even, with a flower in. Well, plant pot with a flower in then. Little bedside lamp, bedside chest of drawers, or your dressing table, whatever you want to call it. And your bed. Now, that is a really nice uh, bed, to be honest. If I was a from, I'd sleep on there. But sadly, I'm not. And here we... Does this come off one more? It does, that's easy for you guys. We'll look in the basement in a moment. But yes, here we have the downstairs living area where you can see the stairs coming down from the bedroom. An umbrella going wild there. There's your front door, opens inwards. So yeah. You have a dining area there which has a newspaper on. The Lego News, the greatest hero ever. They always put that on the front of the Lego News. You have a little fireplace there. You have a little picture there, which we'll get back to when we come to the bookshop. Because that relates to something in the bookshop, I believe. But I could be wrong. You have a little cabinet here, which I think the door's open to. Um... Not sure how to open them, so we'll just leave it shut. But as you can just about see in there, if it focuses, I'll zoom in for you guys. There are even little jars and that in the little cabinet, which is so awesome. Oh, and dust on top of it by the look of it. Sorry for my giant hands there, guys. But yeah. And again, that's on. A little chest of drawers just down there in the surface area. You have the back door here which opens that way and then this door will lead down to the basement and we are going to look at the basement now. So I'll just put that to one side. And here is the ground floor or the bottom floor the plate which everything sits on not plates and what you eat things off a, a lego plate but yeah here we have a little pumpkin patch which is quite nice halloween themed we have a little ladder here which i love the little ladder because if i can get it right Hang on, you're going to go like that. A little ladder. Stands like that. 
actually no it would stand with these bits a bit straighter so like that or it would stand like that but with these bits a bit straighter on onto the ground so yeah like that we'll put the ladder to one side these little uh, black things here, well the black pieces here, they're to connect it with other modular buildings because all modular buildings connect to each other no matter what year they're from. So yeah, then the ladder was hidden by a little door just here. So yeah, and it, the ladder just connects onto there. So you just put this grey bit on there like so and then have the ladder around there like that. Okay, and there's a little stairs to get in the back door, which is quite nice. Then we have these stairs coming down from that door that leads into this basement. A little mouse trap, a little window there for some reason. I don't know why there's a little window there because it's actually it might not be a window, but it... yeah, it's not a window actually, it's just to hold something on for like these grey bricks here or something. Yeah, all the grey bricks that are further below it but yeah then we have some scissors here for the gardening Um, a sack with something in. i don't know what it is in it but it could be presents because this could be santa's house when he lives next to a bookshop a little bench a little workbench even and then we have the front of it so we have the stairs coming in um i don't know why that is like that it's just how it was made which well, is how it was built even that's come off there somehow but that should be like that. Um, yeah, so I don't know why that is like that. Hopefully they would have improved that. Or well, hopefully they will improve that in further modular sets. Because my next modular set I want to get is assembly square. But that's over 200 quid, unfortunately. But yeah. Sorry there. I had to belch for a little bit. But yeah. I think something was meant to go there, but it never did. Well, that piece is hanging out just on that side i will check instructions when i get a chance to further down the line see if i've got something wrong there but yeah that is the blue house so we'll put all of it together oh yeah never never showed you this in the blue house you may have seen it i wonder what it was for that orange bit there is so people can sit on it and look out the window because it's a circular window but yeah also, I'm sorry for the light flickering in this uh, video. I can't do anything about it. It's just the light getting old, which I'm using to light things up instead of a torch, which I used to use in my earlier videos. I need to get soft boxes at some point, to be honest. But yeah. So that is that blue house all put back together. And now we shall bring the bookshop in. Gently. Which, when it's sat next to the blue one, it is considerably taller than the blue one, which, yes, I've just opened the door on. We'll shut it for privacy reasons. But yeah. Considerably taller. Right, we'll move that blue house off to the side. So yes, this is the actual bookshop. I love these bits on the pavement where they're patterned and the little, uh, oh, what are they called? Little drains here as well for water to run down when it rains. Yeah, absolutely love it. Then we have this rather big tree here. Sorry for the jolt in the camera there. But yeah, there's a rather big tree here with a plane inside it. Let's have a, have a go at getting the plane up. There we are. This is just the little plane that comes with the set that you make up to go in that tree. That's really dusty because I need to dust this off. 
So that's, unfortunately the propeller does not spin on its own, you have to make it spin. So that's why I have it like that. But yeah, if I can, I'll just take the tree out. There we are. Basically the base of the tree has black sausages around it to make the circular bit of the tree, to make it just sit in there. And a load of dust. Sorry about the dust. Oh, can't do anything about it. Oh, I'll have to lay the tree down because it's wanting to fall over on its own. Yeah. That's where the tree sits. Which is a good thing, really, because it doesn't sit on the pavement, it just sits where that green bit is. This is a stack of books that I, I feel should go in that window, but it won't fit. I've tried. But yeah. And on the top it says, once upon a time. So yeah. See a little stack of books there. Now, you may see there, there's a little book. I'll get to it when I get to the uh, bottom floor of the bookshop. I probably shouldn't have done that. I may have broke the glass, but no. It's fake glass. Ooh, I've just seen I've put that back too far. Well, I've put it back on too far back. Should be like that. Should be all flush. Should be all flush. Oh, sorry for the jolting the camera. That hit the the arm on the tripod. Yeah, I realise I put the bookshop roof back here when it should have been. No, not not that far forward. When it should have been there. But yeah, that bit of the roof comes off, and that's how they make it. It's a load of detail in these sets. And you may have seen a little friend here that we have. We have a little chameleon friend. A little chameleon that the bookshop owner actually owns. So yeah. Again, there's a bed there. Looks like my bed, actually. Yeah, that's the little uh, hole for the stairs, which we'll have a look at now. I'm just going to put the, the roof back on so the chameleon can have dark. There we are. And here is the middle floor. Let, first we'll look at the balcony. So yeah, there's the balcony. These windows cleverly open like that so you can get some air in. Or, alternatively, you could open the door, but then it hits the armchair. That armchair was was a good build. Well, it was a good little build, by the way. So, yeah, we've got a coffee cup there. A little lamp here, which is cleverly built, and I've just broken a support on the balcony. Hang on, guys, while I just put, it, put this back on. There we are. I accidentally pushed that and it broke. So yeah. Yeah, I love how they've done this lamp just here. If the camera wants to focus, there we are. A little grandfather clock as well, just here with the little pendulum down there. And the time on the grandfather clock is about 10 to 12. But yeah, these stairs were a blooming arse. Sorry for the, the French. Well, excuse the French. But yeah, they were a bloody arse to put in. Because you have to angle them when you put them on. Apart from this top one, because it's obviously straight and connected into the wall. That's the only one that's not an arse to put on. But all of these ones are an arse to put in. So yeah. I think... Is this built onto it? Yes, it is. Right. Here we have the bottom floor then. So they're... Those windows open again. So yeah, that's good. The door opens. I feel like this should... Uh, no. There was no more, I don't think. No, no more floors, apart from this one. The door opens for, to be under the stairs. So that's the back door to go in and out of. Little, little balcony on the stairs. I'm going to get this book out if possible. Excuse the hand.
Right, I'll do it. Do it this way then. Yeah, I feel like that should come out. I don't know. Do I have to do it this way? There we are. In the back there, you can see a load of stacks of books on shelves. Little till there, or cash register, whatever you want to call it, from wherever you're from. A little silver piece on the till as well, or on the desk for the, well, on the counter even. Then some books that someone's going to buy. But yeah, there is another stack with books just here, which is easier to get out, so we'll get that out. Uh, those two studs down, studs down there are what holds this shelf in place. Yeah, before we go any further with, with that, actually no, we'll do this now. So here's your little stack for books, which is really good actually. I don't know whether someone was supposed to go there, I may have missed that, but I don't think so. Could have been, so yeah. Oh goodness, I've just made that fall over. Right, so yeah. That's the top down view of the inside of the bookshop. Ah, hello. We've got another shelf of books there. The books all over this bookshop, so yeah. And a little stained glass window above the door. I love that, that stained glass window because I love how you built it. Yeah, and then we've got another two stained glass windows here. And it's called Birch Books. To do with that tree that was outside. So, yeah. Now. Remember I said there was a, a picture in this blue house. I said we'd come back to when we got to the bottom floor of this. Well, we're going to come back to it now. Just going to leave that in three different pieces. So I'm just going to take that roof off, or a bit off, to so come back to that picture there. You may not be able to see it. That picture just there where, above my finger. So yes. If I can get the right zoom. I've opened the door again. So yeah, I'll put this back on now before I do it well before I go any further move it back to one side because this comes with the bit I wanted to get out of all of this bookshop but I love the bookshop as well so I'm glad I got it and not just this one piece comes with a book that is supposed to be Moby Dick but it's Moby Brick so yeah and also it has the piece of once upon a time which is a printed piece by the way so yeah and that moby brick piece is a printed piece as well so yeah that's your moby dick reference of this whole bookshop so i, I want to say this is related to that picture but yeah and then this moby brick book lies in That bit of the bookshop just sits there. So yeah, that is the bookshop. That is the Lego bookshop. Uh, it took a while to get around to being reviewed, but I I just had so much other stuff going on, and I've only got round to reviewing it, which I'm glad I have because it's a really nice set. I'm glad I've got the time to review it today. So yeah, I'm just putting the tree in that back on this bookshop and we're going to connect it back to the other one not how it will be while it sits here just the opposite of what it was because it's easier and we'll put the plane back as well so it goes back in the tree but yeah that was my review on the lego bookshop i hope you have enjoyed it and if i put the lamppost back I'll see you guys next time for another re review. Right. Hope you enjoyed this first Lego video back on the channel for in a while. Um, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks, and take care.